Hi, I'm Scooter, safety coordinator for CNW Trucking. Today I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to tie down a shotgun coil. All right. This particular coil weighs 12,000 pounds. Our coil racks that are equipped are rated at 10,000 pounds a piece. So two would be enough to cover it. But we teach our drivers to go overkill, so we've got three underneath this one. We're going to start out with our X chains. I always have X chains, I always preach X chains on our coils because a C chain coming from one side back to the other is direct securement and it's only worth 50% of the working load limit. X chains, however, go from one side of the trailer to the other, they're worth 100% of the working load limit. So you can get a lot more securement with the same amount of equipment. First chain, make sure it's secured to our J hook. J hook's rated at 6,700. Our 3 8 grade 70 chain is rated at 6,600. And our binders are rated at 7,200. So according to FMCSA, you go with the rating of the weakest link, which would be our chain. So each chain, each securement system we have going through there would be worth 6,600 pounds of securement. Our first chain is We have another J-hook ready to go. Make sure that we're not hooking on the weld side of the chain. Then we're gonna take that binder. Now, while the chain is still loose, we're gonna take our edge protectors. This is the aluminum coil, so we have rubber on the back of the mill to help prevent edge protectors on both sides. Then once that's in place, we're going to go tighten up our binder. Now you'll notice that as I came through the chain, I came back almost straight back to the side. That's what you want to do, you want to keep as close to the coil as possible without actually having this chain rub on the coil. That way, if you have to slam on the brakes, it's going to keep the inside of this coil from sticking out. Just going to snug it down for right now, get this on the other one. All right, we've got the chains in place. we got our edge protection in place. Now you notice with the X chains, if you look in the center, them chains are gonna rub together. So once we get this tight, we're gonna put a piece of rubber or felt in between them two chains to keep them from banging on each other in transit. We have a 12,000 pound coil, and with our two X chains, we have 13,200 pounds of securement. We only need to have 50% of the load of this coil be DOT compliant. So even though these two chains are enough, we're gonna go over the top with a strap as well. We've got our chains on, we've got our strap over the top. I'll wait till I get down to tighten down the chain or the strap. You notice in between there, we've got the X chains there. I'm going to go get a piece of felt in a second to put between them two X's. You'll notice that we're close to the coil, but we're not touching on both sides. If we have a catastrophic braking event, the center of this coil will not move. All right, we're gonna put our Strap down behind the rub rail. Pull all the way 
through. Pull it back on this side. Yeah, these are back up through. We do it this way so that the strap will hold the excess strap against the side of the trailer. You don't have to worry about it coming loose and trailing out through one of the holes. And we're gonna take our bar and we're gonna make sure we go all the way through the collar every time. There you go, like a guitar string. And that should do it. We now have 17,600 pounds of securement on a 12,000 pound coil. This thing ain't going anywhere. Thank you.